Hi everyone, thanks for making the left turn and welcome to a continuation of the special series History Jacksonville and behind me nothing says History Jacksonville more than the Florida Theater. 1927 was the year when this grand playhouse was constructed and what an amazing theater. Uh, I had quite uh, an impression on me as a youngster in the early 1980s. In the early 1980s, uh, some big performances accompanied the opening of the Florida Theater, the Nutcracker, and the Florida Ballet, uh, a great performance, truly something amazing. I guess if you could say Jacksonville had crown jewels, the crown jewel would be our Florida Theater. So let's go ahead, walk towards the theater, take a look at the building, and let's move on down the street because I've got more to show you. A lot of times people will drive by and they'll see the Florida Theater Marquee, but of course the Florida Theater is really uh, a theater within this great uh, large, well, medium size, I guess you could say, uh, building. Uh, so uh, a lot to it. There's a lot of detail. We're right out here on Forsyth, so please pardon the traffic. I guess this is, is called the Florida Theater Building. And one can imagine, you know, before the movies really took off, you know, all that was involved uh, in uh, really getting uh, things going, uh, I imagine, I think the year that uh, sound uh, hit the uh, film was uh, 1928. So uh, this theater probably had a lot going on in those first couple years, and also with some of the performances. Uh, that were, were done. It's amazing the design as you can see the heraldry uh, in, in the architecture. One day the left turn will go inside the Florida Theater because the Florida Theater uh, inside certainly uh, an amazing sight. Well, as the uh, traffic builds out here on uh, Forsyth Street, let's go ahead and walk down the street, down to Maine. Here we are at Ocean at Forsyth. On the way to Main Street. And in the early 1980s, this was the Jacksonville Public Library, the main branch. The Hayden Burns Library, named after Mayor and Governor Hayden Burns. And, you know, I guess if there's one building that one can talk about uh, that played a big role in who I am today, it's the Hayden Burns Library. Now, of course, with the new Central Library, uh, the main branch down at Hemming Plaza, we see, of course, the fences and the slow decay of, uh, the, uh, of the old library. Why is this library is so important? Well, you know, I'm a big reader. Uh, there are books that I just can't put down. And uh, the love for reading started within this building. An amazing, amazing library. And you know, for a child, coming downtown, and even today it sometimes seems like a bigger than life experience to come down here and, and look back at the past. You know, once the library closed, the new library opened, of course there was the usual talk about refurbishment, a lot of ideas, but today there is a four lease sign on it, and it sits abandoned, barely maintained, yet for generations of uh, children, uh, this is a very special place. And one hopes that in time, the economy will improve. In time, people will not let this go away. But we don't know. You know, uh, here we are now at the corner of Ocean and Adams. Uh, had a great time one day, one night last year at the Borough Bar. 
uh, here at the corner of the uh, ocean and Adams. And uh, I'm going to walk right now over to the Hayden Burns Library in just a moment. And we'll take a look at the, the plaque. But as you can see, uh, it's hard for me because I look at it like, uh, you know, I look at it like I grew up and I see something that, that's so amazing and so beautiful, yet uh, once again, like it seems like a lot of things in my life, it's just being allowed to decay. And when I say my life, I mean the surroundings around me sometimes. All right, so we will now get a view of the of the plaque here, or the inscription, uh, built in 1965, uh, two or three years before the city and county government consolidated. Uh, mayor commissioner at the time was Louis Ritter, uh, Lou Ritter, and uh, we were under our city was under a a city commission. Uh, form of government and a council, uh, there was a lot of duplication and uh, there was a lot of building in the early 1960s, uh, but there was also a lot of problems. And uh, so all of these people's names are inscribed on this abandoned building that once was a library. And one can only hope that something is done with it, uh, that truly uh, this place can come alive again. And uh, if you notice the little graffiti here, it looks like, where are the books? And, you know, the books are down at Heming Plaza. And, you know, I don't know. Could this building have been renovated? Maybe the politicians didn't want to spend the cost. Could the city do something with this? I don't know. Personally, I think what would be great, a great marketing aspect, and I think one of the ideas that had been talked about was simply for this to be some sort of nightclub area. Here you are, you're right across from the borough bar, and... Uh, if you take a look, actually, the really old, old Jacksonville Public Library that, as far as I know, uh, at least in the time that I knew it was a, is, uh, was a law firm, will walk over there as well. But this would make a perfect nightclub. I really think so. Multi-floor, right at a good corner, plenty of meter spaces, and right across from the bar, and interesting uh, thing about this is the Jacksonville, uh, Jacksonville Central Fire Station. And uh, I went on a field trip one day that combined the, the Hayden Burns Library walking across the street, of course, single file in line, uh, being directed by the teacher on the field trip to go inside and uh, experience what was the fire station like. So, you know, I guess on this corner, a lot of my life began to come together as I grew up. And let's go even further back in time because we seem to be able to do it here. Uh, and let's look at the old Jacksonville Public Library. Uh, certainly the Hayden Burns is much bigger and certainly our, our uh, main library now is uh, even bigger. Uh, but this seemed to do the job in the early to mid 20th century up until the 1960s when the library needed to grow. Uh, it's called the Bedell Building and uh, we still have the inscription open to all. Beautiful. All right. I want to thank you for watching today. Uh, maybe this is more of a, a um, partly a, an autobiography, a, a, a paragraph in an autobiography of my life. Uh, you know, uh, so much has happened in my life, but it's important that we as a community and as a, as a city, as a county, I guess you could say, a city county, uh, can come together and provide the most valuable experiences for the youth so that they can be able to thrive and prosper and build and inspire and entertain uh, and feel and love 
and pass down the great, the great knowledge uh, to the later generations.